Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about concurrency control. Concurrency means two or more events happening at the same time. Likewise, in any applications, uh, two or more users could able to access or could able to modify a single record, right? So for example, I have a table or uh, employee table in my database and there are two users for this application who is trying to access the second record okay simultaneously which means these three users trying to update some data not similar data different data on the single record that is second record in this case the output is unpredictable and we won't have any idea uh, which request could modify the you know the particular second record if any of the one uh, user's request is successful the other two users won't have the latest version so this is a uh, uh, some critical situation and uh, some data inconsistency would happen here to avoid this situation okay we need to update only one update request and uh, reject the other request so to control this uh, uh, we have a uh, two uh, two different approach in uh, a restful lab programming model uh, let's see what are they So one is ETAC. So let's see with this an example here. So consider here in the OData client one, okay, and client two trying to access the same record from a database table. So first the OData client one send the get request. So from uh, from the DB he gets back the response with the ETAC X. A few milliseconds O data client to send the gate request okay then receives the same record response with etac x so so here the etac has the value of x okay so later the client one want to update some data okay uh, for the same record so he sends the update request with the e tag x so what would happen it will try to read the e tag x value in the db okay then it finds out uh, you know the e tag value whatever the user sends and whatever the in the db or similar or same then it says it has been verified and uh, no other requests has changed this meanwhile so it, it it allows the update request in this case so then the database in the database uh, record so the e tag will be modified to y so after this you know whenever you know we try to send the get request it would send the e tag of y which is the latest one okay not x okay but here in this in this case the o data client to already has you know fetched the uh, response of the particular record with e tag x so he or she won't know about the data has been modified by the client one without knowing that client to send the update request with e tag x again what will happen in the backend it will try to read from the db what is the latest e tag value it found that it is y and it compares x is not equal to y then it says e tag not okay and sends the response saying that preconditions failed so the update request for the o data client to for this record will get ignored so basically this is the simple approach uh, for the using the e tag you can avoid the concurrency control okay
So this we call it as uh, optimistic uh, concurrency control. Okay. So let's see the another uh, approach. The, the same example. Okay. Go data client one. Uh, sending an update request. Okay. What would happen here is the locking would happen. So the lock is nothing but it's a, just a AC11 lock. Okay. It will just uh, uh, call the NQ function model and uh, uh, the lock would happen for the particular table level or a record level. Okay. So once first, first, uh, you know, uh, in the global lock table, you would able to find that record if that is already locked, right? The first time it won't have any entry. So what would happen? It says no entry. Then after that, they will try to set the lock for the particular record. Okay. Then, uh, then it will allow for the update data. Okay. So here the word data client to when it was you no know, uh, the data got updated, right? Still the lock is enabled for the particular record. Okay. And uh, in the global log table, the particular record uh, will have the entry. Okay, so uh, the client one is updating the data. Meanwhile, the client two sends an update request on the same record. Then the framework will try to check for the particular entry. It says back the instance already logged. Then it simply rejects the update. Okay. So once this update was successful, after that, the, the what was the lock that was set, it become removed. Okay. Then the once the removed, then you won't have any entry in the you know global uh, lock table. So uh, and finally, you will get a response for the client one, right? So this is the another approach we can uh, you know used to avoid the concurrency uh, you know access so with this two approach we can make sure our uh, uh, data in the database tables are consistent okay this kind of approach we can call it as you know pessimistic concurrency control let's uh, see this each approach uh, detailing in the upcoming videos so if you like this video please do thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos Thank you for watching. Have a great day.